Hi and welcome to the final modification for this uh, calculator project of mine. I know it's taking approximately four tutorials. I'm not used to doing long tutorial sessions, which I don't I don't really enjoy it myself. But I just want to carry out one final modification this very calculator which I did implement in my in my keyboard I believe you guys have seen that anyway I'll show you what I'm talking about you see the modification is going to be a sort of rollover so that when you click on any of the buttons you will be able to it will indicate that uh, the button has been clicked on okay so that's what I want to do for this final modification and at the same time so sort of like give you guys the opportunity to view most of the codes that you may have not had the opportunity to see a source so that's what I'm going to be doing soon so this is uh, all the codes if I I will just like to remind you again run and save the steam force just to show you guys how it looks as a calculator right so what I want to do is when I press or depress any of this number I just want you to at least indicate that look this very number has been or this very button has been pressed so that's what I'm going to do right now so if you don't understand what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, I'll show it to you in my keyboard right here. You see this keyboard? You all have it on YouTube anyway. If I click on it, you see what will happen. That's my keyboard right there. If I click on any button, can you see the indicator? okay that's what I want to do with this calculator right now so let's go back to the calculator so the line of code is called uh, active background and that's the color then active font ground so let me copy this from my keyboard I've copied that so I'm gonna close my keyboard open up my calculator right there just a quick reminder before I carry out the changes can you say it that's how it looks like so I'm gonna close it go in the code that is my button code right here click in here paste it there go to file save it run the program one more time and come back to the code can you guys see the indicator showing the changes that have taken place uh, I don't seem to like this uh, yellow color so I'm going to change it and uh, let's call it a day for now so let's close that and change the color so I change this color to white now change this to something light and um, dark gray yeah that's it so let's save and run the program right now here we are that's the calculator now we have it can you guys see that see so that's my final modification carried out so I hope you all enjoy this uh, tutorial session and you all have a nice day 
so I'll just take you back to the code so that you have a quick view of the code as it right there if you want you can always send me an email and I'll forward this code to you as a code right there so you all have a nice day now